Welcome back guys to another video and today we are going to compare two newest versions of NiceH Miner. The NiceH Miner version 2022 and the NiceH Miner Legacy 1.9. So if you go to NiceH Miner and you want to download the NVIDIA or AMD Miner and if you just click on NVIDIA it will automatically download the newest one. But if you click on download uh, Miner for AMD cards it will actually download you the older version 1.8. So if you want to download this 1.9 version alpha, you have to click right here and go to NiceH Miner Legacy and scroll a little bit down and you can see right here download link for version 1.9. So this version is still in alpha, so we can expect some problems. But it works perfectly fine for me even with my NVIDIA card on this version for AMD cards. So if you have NVIDIA card, you can download any version you want, but if you have AMD card, you must download the AMD version of Miner. So the benchmarks I have run are pretty fresh, about an hour old, and let's, let's compare them and see which version gives you better hash rates and better profits. So let's start with a CPU benchmark. So on my Ryzen 7 1700, on version 2 I only have Kryptonite version 7 with XMR stack CPU algorithm. And over here I get 282,000 hashes per second. But on legacy version, depending on the algorithm I decide to run, I get between 364 and 430 hashes per second. And over here I have 4 different options for mining with my CPU. So if you just want to mine with your CPU, go for the legacy versions, the profits are a lot better. You can see that over here I would get 5600 satoshis, but over here I would get 8624 satoshis. So now let's go to the GPU benchmarks. If we click over here you can see that I have 14 available benchmarks, but on my uh, NVIDIA card on legacy version I have a lot more different benchmarks. So let's go one by one and compare them. So on version 2 Ketsak gets 1.4 GHz, but, but over here on CC Miner it gets 1.2 and on CC Miner Alexis it also gets 1.2. So now on version 2 it is a little bit better. New script gets 1.78, but on legacy it gets only 1.4. So this has the biggest difference between legacy and the version 2, where the algorithm performs 20% better on the version 2. And if you mine a lot of new script, you will want to use the version 2, because this has the biggest difference between version 2 and the legacy one. The next one is Lira 2, revision 2, and you can see that over here it gets 70.59 but on Legacy it gets only 67.65. Dagger Hashimoto gets 13.2, but over here it gets 31.1. And Dagger Hashimoto performs better on every single dual mining option compared to version 2. So if you're mining with AMD cards and they mostly mine Dagger Hashimoto, so Ethereum, you wanna use also the Legacy version and also if you mine with your CPU. The next one is Decret, it gets 4.7 GHz here, and over here it gets 4.5. Next one Libri, 4.71 compared to 4.78, so about the same. Equihash 7.13, and over here it gets 6.97 and 7.17, so almost exactly the same. The next one is Pascal with 1.8 GHz per second, but on the legacy version I don't have option to mine Pascal coin. So Sia gets 2.87 and over here it gets 2.99. So Sia is about 10% better on the legacy version, but it doesn't matter because you cannot mine Sia profitably on your GPU. Blake 2S with 6.68 GHz per second compared to 6.28. So about 10% better on version 2. And the last one is Kryptonite V7, over here you can see that it gets 757.427, but on the legacy it gets 766 hashes per second, so it is a little bit better also on the legacy version. So as we can see the legacy version is better for Vega cards, which mine with Kryptonite, it is better for RX 580s, 570s, which mostly mine uh, Ethereum, 
but if you are using something like RX280 or RX380, they sometimes mine a lot of equihash, so it would be good for you to use version 2. And also, if you mine with your CPU, you also wanna use the legacy version. So legacy version is better in three things, but the version 2 is better in some other things. So it also depends on which hardware you are running. There is no defined answer on which miner is better, every miner is better for something else, depending of course on your GPUs. So I hope that I cleared that misconception a little bit, which miner is better, and uh, hopefully we can make a lot more videos like this in the future. See you soon in another one, and bye.